because it's supposed to be rain. Oh my god, why? Oh, it's raining so hard. Oh my god, guys, fellas, it's literally just pouring down in this room. But wait, the, where, where's the thunder? It's almost like it's lost. Oh, my apologies, fellas. I know that was a terrible joke, but welcome back to what is a brand new Pokemon set release. I know. It has been a hot minute, but it's November, which means a brand new Pokemon TCG set came out today, and it's literally none other than Pokemon Sun and Moon, the next expansion, which is called Lost Thunder. Now, this bad boy is actually really, really special for one reason in particular. It is the biggest set Pokemon's ever released, ever. It's got over 200 cards. I mean... That basically means no matter how many booster boxes you buy, you're basically never going to pull all the GX secret rares and all that, like Jibber Jabber. This dude right here has a rainbow rare, and holy mother duck, it is so expensive. That goes like $60, $70 right now. It's insane. But we've got the two mascots in the back right here. Lugia um, is really odd. Also, Celebi. Like, why, why they put Lugia and Celebi as like one of the main mascots? Fair enough, all the new Pokemon, but that's kind of weird. The incredible barcode. I know everyone likes a good barcode. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the booster box. Really epic sort of set. It's a good like sort of throwback to Generation 2. Uh, mixed in with like the new Sun and Moon sort of Pokemon. But without further ado, I'm keen to crack this bad boy open. See what we can do. See what sort of pulls we can get. I actually haven't looked too much at a ratio of a booster box. So I don't know how many GXs or full arts we're supposed to pull per box. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's a few. We can get a few good pulls. I know there's like two trainer card full of cards that we really, really want, which I'll put on screen right now. It's this one right here because it's got all the Generation 2 starters on it, and it looks really, really cool. That's a $100 card, um, and then there's there's another one as well. It's like a referee looking dude. That's another like $70, $60 card. So they're probably the two ones we're dying to get. Anything else though, I will gladly take because this there just looks epic. Look at the booster pack artwork though. I don't know, it's something really special. Like this is a really, really like... I don't know, it really throws me back to the EX days almost, doesn't it? The pack artwork and all that. Just the Celebi one in general, it just really, really looks cutesy and uh, really well done. So without further ado, I'm thinking today, we're literally gonna do just part one and two. We'll get this whole booster box done. Let's do a party in your pants and do half a booster box in first part. So without further ado, this is my first ever Lost Thunder boost pack. Let's focus this bad boy up and hopefully pull something even like Celebi related. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what else. Maybe Lugia related. Look at this. Look at it. 214 cards in the set. But then, fellas, that's not even including the secret rares. That's just 214. Boop. Just regular old normal cards. I know. That's ridiculous. We've got Curlia. Got a uh, Quilava as well. A Piggy Peck, Durant, a Chub too. He needs to really just blow his nose, doesn't he? Got a Fampy, a uh, Wormpool, Shaman Reverse, and then a regular rare Wobbuffet. I'm not even gonna lie, that regular rare looks really nice, all the different colors. Um, and also, I apologize, on the first opening of like any set, I go a bit slower because I sort of get mesmerized by the artwork. Uh, I really just love like staring at the cool like new stuff I haven't seen before, and there's like so much of it in the set. Seeing it is there is like 200 cards. So it's still four from the back, so it's a Pokemon Sun and Moon Sex. There's an energy card included. We've got a Grow Vile, Adventure Bag, Skiddo just dancing around. We've got an Onyx, Rolts, a Cyndaquil, Pineco, a Reverse Hop, Hip, Hibbity Hop, and then a Rope. Like, no, I was going to say Reverse, a Hollow Suicune. What the heck? Didn't, didn't uh, Suicune just have a Hollow? I swear he did. Anyway, uh, Suicune is like one of my favorite legendary dogs. So I'm not mad at all. He gets another holo card. Frozen Flow? Is that a, is that a type of slushy you get at 7-Eleven? Pull that one in the back. Alright, not too bad. Second boost back in. We managed to get a holo card. Let's uh let's keep it rolling. And these boost packs are so easy to rip open. It almost feels like they got like a new material, or like they've made the uh boosters out of a new like something. I don't know. That was these are like so oh, this one right here. Professor Elm's lecture. It comes as a full art card, and oh man, it looks so cool. Got Mina, Litlo, Cutie Fly. So leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. I know this has been out for like maybe two or three days in America. So we've got a Zoomeral regular rare. Leave a comment in the comment section below for sure. Let me know how you guys are going. Have you pulled like everything you want to pull? Um, have you got a really cool full light card, a rainbow rare? Make sure you tweet me. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I love reading about all you guys' fantastic pulls and if it's worth like, I don't know, getting another booster box of this set, getting another elite trainer box or something. 
Pupitor? Does that mean Tyranitar is in the set as well? well that's awesome. Wurmpool? Got a Poplio with another Nose Booger. Oh my gosh. Side to reverse. And then Mimikyu GX as our very first GX card. Oh my gosh. That looks sick. Mimikyu's a Pokemon that doesn't even look bad. And we just unboxed the, uh, the Scream version of him. I could start my own Mimikyu collection, basically. Perplex, Let's Snuggle, and Dream Fear. Hmm, that's an that's a odd combination of Pokemon attacks. Yo, I love the artwork here. What do you guys reckon? The way the pink fairy type, like, plays off the card is just incredible. And then it's got all the electricity around it for Lost Thunder as well. 149. That Mimikyu GX was literally card number 149. Bruh. It's, it's insane. This whole... I don't know, why, why did they go out, like a 200 card set? Because it's not like it's the last ever Pokemon Sun and Moon one they wanted to go out with a bang. Because there's another one coming out. Is it just happened that like they missed too many Japanese sets and had to cram it all into one? Because I know Japan like just kept releasing sets like month after month and English sort of had to stack them into one sort of Pokemon set. Regular rare Sheninja! That's alright, Sheninja's in uh, Pokemon Go this month. It's pretty fitting, I wonder if that was planned. But yeah, I don't know. Or maybe it's because next week, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee comes out on the Switch, which by the way, do I do a Let's Play on the channel? Should I get fully involved with that game? I'm so excited for it, it's ridiculous. I'm almost thinking build like a mini setup in the back here and just like Let's Play the game because I'm going to be playing it anyway. Might as well record me playing it. But maybe because that game's coming out, they're like, you know what? Let's make a set that's absolutely huge that everyone's going to want. Unknown Reverse? <gasps> Why is that not a holy card? Come on, boys! Umbreon's such a cool Pokemon! Dark Cutter. No, a petition to get Umbreon a uh, holy card. Oh man, that's kind of sad. Alright, regular rare. That's alright, Zoroa. Come on. Gonna give us the goods now. D Denny. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that was the reason. But then as well, there's a brand new Pokemon set in Japan that just came out that's the rarest Pokemon set ever been released, which will open on the channel very soon. So there's a lot of Pokemon stuff happening, like, over this month. Absolute crazy timing for such a ridiculously huge set. We've got a Skiddo, Carbink, and then- OH SUGAR! Oh, boys! That is a Genesect Hollow! That is a Genesect freaking Hollow, boys! Oh! Bruh. My apologies! I've had one too many coffees, but oh my gosh! Look at that thing! It is bursting out with rainbow rare goodness! Genesect Full Art. Secret Rare, it's card number 224. Holy sugar canes, that is insane. I'm shaking, guys, that is so cool. Double Drive, Burst Shot, and Break Buster GX. Oh, damn, you can see the, like, texture in the back of the card, too. Oh, no way, that's a good-looking card. I don't know about you guys, but Rainbow Rares just can't do no wrong. Honestly, I can pull them, and they just look so good in the binder. Like, when I show people Rainbow Rare collections, they're like, no way. Oh, I love it! Alright, that is awesome. So, Genesect GX Rainbow Rare. Tick! Already done. Um, hopefully it's- hopefully not. Hopefully not the ratio of the box is just one Rainbow Rare. I reckon it should be two. Honestly, if the set is that big, they should give us two uh, Rainbow Rares. Oh, yes, 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 yes! That is sick, that's sick. Okay, Celebi Prism card. Why- why does that look so good to me? Why does that scream like the most- Maybe the best prism I've ever seen in my entire life. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Holy, this is the mascot of the set too. Alright. Oh, I thought we are going to go for the big double for a second. That's all good in the hood. But yo. Alright, Celebi Prism. Oh, we're cooking with gas, boys. We're cooking with gas. Genesis GX Rainbow Rare. Mimikyu GX. And then Celebi Prism card just for a slam freaking dunk. That is awesome! Alright, keep going, let's keep going. We are on a roll! Alright, Celebi, look at your blue eyes. Please give us something, I am begging you right now. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There are so many cards in this set, we can do well, I promise you. Fourth in the back, let's swing around, we've got the Darkness Energy, Giraffe Rig, Mixed Herbs, we've got a Stantler, got a Snubble, Slugma, a Picky Peck, got a Litlow Reverse, and then, oh, Cofferigus Regular Rare. I swear, uh, Coffee Cofferigus got a um, got a whole bunch of regular rares like recently too, and didn't he? He's one of those Pokemon that just never get better than a regular rare. He's never had a holy card or anything. Magina, Lost Blender, honestly sounds like half my neutral bullets in the uh, sink. Got a Pachirisu, Poplio, 
Spinner Rack, Reverse Jigglypuff, and then another one. This time it's Lugia GX. This is a hand-painted masterpiece. What do you guys think? Psychic Pelagic Blade and then Lost Purge GX. But the key point of this card is how hand-drawn it all is. Oh my... You can just see the like pencil marks and the sketch marks. Oh, no way. It's so epic. No wonder he's like one of the key mascots of this whole set. But then also, fellas, we got to imagine we're nearly done with the first half of this box and we are killing it with the pulls already. Both the mascots. We've got Lukia. Bang. Uh, Celebi. Bang. Rainbow Rare Genesec. Bang. Mimikyu GX and a holo card. There's not, there's actually not many holo cards. Usually I'm just getting frustrated by how many- <laughs> Now I said that, watch the second part be like all holy cards, I can guarantee it. But like, usually there's a lot more holy cards, isn't there? Lavatar, Carbink, Mina, and then an Espeon regular rare, just like how Umbreon had a regular rare. But usually a lot more. I'm okay with that because uh, we seem to be absolutely killing it with the GX cards. But it's just, it's just a little bit odd, that's alright though, we got Moomoo Milk. Fairy Charm, we got a Ninjask, and then we got Chikorita, Natu, Houndor, Alolan Diglett, and then uh, the Fruit Loops mascot. It's all good in the hood. Maybe a full art Zoroa. That'd be the last, maybe. Actually, no, 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 no. Well, I think we should we are due we are due for like one more full art card. One rainbow rare is definitely not the ratio per box. We should get another one for sure. Look at all this stuff, guys. It's all building up. So many cards, so many wrappers. I love doing like huge openings like this because they always turn out the same. What is that? Memory energy. Never seen that before. Cacleon. Got a uh, Pachirisu. A Spinneract. Ninkata. Rolts Reverse. Whoa. He looks majestic as. He's on the prowl. He's on the prowl. Oh gosh. last It's the final five. The final five boosters. Can we end this part with one more absolutely sexy looking pull? Hopefully that's possible. Alright, put that one to the side. There you go, there's the code card. So let's go forth in the back, swing around. We've got a fighting type energy. Sudowoodo. Counter gain. Go go. A worm pull. And then we've got Yan Mask. Stun fist. Ooh, there we go. Prism Life Forest. And it, oh my gosh! It's a picking one! What the heck? What the heck, dude? That is not only a big double. That is literally the greatest thing you can ever witness. Oh, that looks so sick! Life Forest Prism card. Look at that banger. That is so cool. No way. The shake is real. Hashtag boys. So I think that's like some sort of area where you battle your Pokemon. But that's not what I'm keen on. That is not what I'm excited about right now. We have a Rainbow Rare GX Full Art Secret Rare Mimikyu number 226. Yo fellas. We are killing it. We have still four boosters left of this half, and then we have another half of a booster box. I'm loving this set. I'm loving this set. The fact it's so big is like the best thing in the whole wide world. Oh, I'm so psyched we still have a bunch of openings for this thing as well. Perplex, Lick, Snuggle, and Dream Fear. What weird attacks. Oh, guys. Oh my, have... Surely everyone's getting this good of pulls. What are the chances we go and pull two Secret Red Rainbow Rares? in one individual box. This could be the best opening ever. Because the more I think about it, like that ratio itself, absolutely incredible. Like that's amazing. But then you have to think, we have another half to open. I'm blown away. It's treating us way too good. Trico, Reverse Gardevoir. I'm not even mad that that's a regular Steelix. Third to last booster. This time it's a Lugia. Let's break it open. We're going to hop, hip, hippity hop. There you go, guys. There's the code. Let me know how you're going in the codes as well. Are you getting a bunch of rainbow rares? Let me know. Electro power. Deli bird. Christmas is coming soon. Hopefully a bunch of cool Christmas items from the Pokemon Center in Japan. I, I love when it's Christmas time over in Japan. They always release some cool stuff. Another holo chandelure. Yo, chandelure is another Pokemon that always seems to get holo cards. A little bit biased over in the Pokemon land, but that's all right. Chandelure holo card. Put that one at the back. We got the second to last booster. I'm just counting my blessings right now because uh, the, ra the rate that we've been pulling absolutely amazing pulls is just a bit ridiculous. We may have the greatest booster box ever on our hands. Alright, Pupitar, Counter Gain, Ariados, got a Yan Mask, a Stunfisk, Lovatar, 
Whitney! And then Smeagol. Cool looking Smeagol. Couple of colors in the background. But fellas, Arceus, if you're up there, we are on the final booster of this Lost Thunder booster box. Part no, no, no. Let's give, let's give it a go. We're gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, blow it for me. It's all up to you. If we pull this dude in the rainbow ram, I'm done. I'm selling this half on eBay. Dead set, dead set, dead set. I'm not doing part number two if we pull a rainbow rare version of that. Cause like, it's not possible. It's not gonna happen. There's not gonna be a better one. There's the uh, fourth in the back. Swing around. Here we go. We got a fairy type energy, Exatu. We got a Combi, Litlo, Cutie Fly, Hip Hop, Bibbidi Bop. Then we got Vespi Queen, Reverse, and a Beauty Fly regular rare. Looks like we're doing part number two. That's all good in the hood, don't worry. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for part number two. Click the annotation after you watch this recap right now. Um, this recap is about to be bananas. Let me just put the uh, rainbow rays at the back and let's have a look at what we got, right? We got Chandelure Hollow, Life Forest Prism card, Lugia GX, the mascot of the set. Celebi Prism, another mascot of the set. Oh, we missed one. Mimikyu GX, take note of the attacks and how it looks, because basically the rainbow is exactly the same. Suicune Hollow. Oh my gosh, rainbow rare. And oh my gosh, another rainbow rare. Look at this. Fellas, it does not get better than a two rainbow rare banger. On the, oh my gosh, on the first part of a box. This is the first time I've ever opened these boosters and this is what I pulled. Stay tuned, fellas, because we're about to open all of that tomorrow. Subscri subscribe? I can't even say that word. I'm, oh my god, my brain is melting! Subscribe, like the video, and, uh, and, and, and just be on the edge of your seats. Because we've got the rest of that booster box. Then after that, we have an elite trainer box to open as well. This channel is about to go off with epic Lost Thunder pulls. Hopefully you can feel my excitement, hopefully you guys are excited as well. I just think the oh, I just think the pause is gonna get even better. Which how's that even possible for a booster box? Anyway, guys, have a fantastic day, Bosal. We're gonna keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next video.